what's up you guys time is back another eat fast and straight trash video and the big bro still around man uh nowadays man everyone's uh into these healthy food eating habits you know obviously all of us got to start eating healthy especially if you're affected by this covid in some sort of capacity some people had to stay home and just cook all day and that's all they did was eat 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 I sure the hell did. So now it's time to get back on the grind and start losing some weight. Maybe start eating healthy. But, man, uh, one thing I uh, heard about is that uh, keto diet, that nice high-protein, low-carb diet that helps out a lot. The weight loss and, you know, healthy uh, eating habits and stuff like that. So uh, the problem with me, though, is uh, whenever I'm eating healthy, man, it's, you know, the snacking. That's the issue I always have, man, eating something uh, sweet. You know, I always like eating fucking cookies and pies and stuff like that. And it's always, it's always hard to find a nice keto dessert that, you know, is, you know, that tastes good and kind of gives you that same satisfaction like a cookie or a cake does. So uh, we actually got two snacks, actually three. Without the guilt. These are some guilt-free snacks right here. Uh, we'll start off with the, you know, everyone likes a nice potato chip. Uh, however, potato chips are bad for you, high carbs, you know, a lot of salt and everything like that. So fried, oily. Sometimes you just gotta find something that's a little bit better for you. And we uh, found one snooping this through this damn rummage store in freaking Texas. What is that name of that damn joint? Max Save? Max Save with two X's, y'all. Yeah, if you're ever down there in it's Dallas. Texas staple. You know, it's almost like a big lots, man. Kind of cool, man. But um, anyways, we're going to try some of these damn kale chips. This roasted kale chip that might be right here. Uh, sea salt action uh, from Rhythm Superfoods. I'll leave that link down below. But, uh, man, this place gets all the foods that no one wants, so they decide to sell it for less than market value but well, man like everything about this is uh pretty much good for the keto we got two grams of carbs only no sugars the only thing you're not getting is that protein but you can get that with the next snack that we got up in place so um we're gonna start off with this one see if this kind of is this a nice substitution for a nice potato chip or are you pretty much screwed Would when it you comes rather to eat snacking? those than the yellow lays Oh hell no, Lay's in those fucking Lay's are good, dude. Hey, yeah, you more of a Lay's guy or like a Ruffles, bro? You like them ridges or you like them straight chips? I'm doing straight chips. I'm doing fuck, I'm gonna open this goddamn yeah. thing. I'm gonna just struggle opening this motherfucker for a little bit. Mm. Can't get it open, just. Oh man. Oh, I opened it that Straight way. Straight off Fuck. the fucking bat. These motherfuckers stink, bro. I mean, you're definitely not gonna fucking uh, enjoy smelling those. Oh, it those. smells like them things that huh? you get in the, uh, the little packets you get on the uh, in the ramen. Them packets. Like that seasoning? Yeah. If you look at it that way, it don't smell too bad. Like the uh, the vegetable part, yeah, the vegetable yeah. seasonings are. Yeah. I'm guessing this is almost like some of those uh, seaweeds, dry seaweeds that you get. Yeah, it's like kale. Kale is pretty good, but it's kale, not seaweeds. All right, I guess it's only one way to find out if these things are any good is to eat them. Smelling, tasting, pretty much different. These fucking smell, man. He likes them. That. All right. I'm gonna be digging out this window for a little bit. Kind of looks like fucking beef jerky with kale. Yeah. So here they go, this little fucking pack right here. Looks like a freaking marijuana leaf. <laughs> are these uh these pipe tobaccos? Chewing tobacco. Hey yeah, dude, got a. Hey, it looks like fucking uh, the beef jerky, vegetable jerky for you uh, vegans out there. Right. It's not going to have that chew, but here we go, man. Smell it? Smells like a freaking, smells like an aquarium, a fish aquarium. Hey, this might be some of that, uh, might be seasoned with caviar, I think. So it might be good with this one. Here we go. Here we go. I 
Well, I do actually feel a little bit better at eating this than I do a freaking Lay's potato chip. I have to try it one more time. That's a weird texture. You can just tell it's That's just like uh, I feel like fucking Bugs Bunny right here, man. I definitely don't feel guilty. I feel guilty about wasting five bucks on this thing. Yeah, I don't know how you fucking healthy people do this shit, but it's uh, just like kicking a fucking a leaf off the ground and eating it. I might have to drink a cup of piss to, want, uh, to uh, lessen the, the pain of these. Damn, man, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, fucking healthy people like this stuff. People that shop at Whole Foods probably like these. But, Maybe um, it's the brand we got is kind of messed up. Maybe we got a, like a... Maybe get a higher Whole class or brand or something or what? Maybe we gotta get that Kirkland brand, I think. Ugh. That might help out, but man, I don't know about these. These are, um, I mean, I just, I probably just, you know, I guess if you're a vegan, you can't eat meat, you gotta pretty much eat this, but I, you know, me personally, I'd rather just get like a, a Slim Jim or something like that. At least you get the protein. Woo, boy, that thing's but like, I don't know, these are fucking nasty. That thing's like eating shit. a dollar off the, fruit, off the road. I know, yeah, I guess you don't gotta worry about that damn, uh, that ink in your mouth though so you should be all right you know but it's like eating a leaf off the ground it's a weird texture too it's not even it's not even moist or anything it's just fucking dry ass shit man it's like eating a damn leaf off the ground it's not even a good it's not even juicy yeah we could probably fucking uh, roll that up and fucking smoke it tonight oh shit oh, you know? okay. if it don't break up while you roll it around nice Oh boy. Nice uh, dime bag of fresh kale. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I've had kale chips though. Kale chips are pretty good, but those chips are lasting. Yeah, it was just, it was like thin and just had this weird texture That's too. So I didn't much. like about it. Just. I think I pieces in my mouth. I mean, honestly, the taste isn't that bad though. It almost just tastes like, uh, you've ever had like canned spinach. It's kind of what it tastes like to me, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to uh, recommend that one to anybody except for a vegetarian. They probably like that, but hey, Somebody who there's, still, some two, shit like there's still two treats left. And I'll give that one to you because I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll both like this one. I don't know. Take but this out. is that Kirkland. These are cookies and creams. These are, man, that's the thing with these damn uh, health bars like these is finding one that actually tastes pretty decent. And then it's actually good for you. This one, look at that. Two grams of sugar, five grams of net carbs. So this is definitely good for the, should be good for that keto. 22 grams of protein in one of these bars. And this is the best, this is the best information right here. Made with real cookie, cookie pieces. pieces. Not made with freaking soy pieces. I mean, now, that, soy now that's definitely not a picture of an Oreo up at the top. That's definitely one of Kirkland's cookies. Well, because it doesn't have that. Oreo and print on the top as you can see. See, it does have, it does have the circle and the two things like Oreo. It just doesn't say yeah, Oreo. These are those fucking duplexes, I think. Them duplex cookies. <laughs> the Hydrox. <laughs> but here we go, man. Gluten free. So if you guys uh, don't like that gluten. Here, okay, try this one. Does anybody know where Kirkland is from? What brand is Kirkland's? What store carries Kirkland? That's uh, Costco. Isn't it? I think it's Costco. Costco. Yeah. Well, if it comes from Costco, let's get delicious. Let's, get let's check it out. Now again, man, that's that's the problem with me, man. With any diet things, getting rid of the cookies and stuff like that, man. Because you know, there's these things in a fucking delicious, warm, hot chocolate chip cookie that just you can't be matched by anything. So I don't know, or even a nice donut yeah It'd be nice right around now but let's see this but this substitute a donut it might substitute a donut or this could substitute at least a, a candy bar right okay yeah kind of maybe want that uh maybe a nice painting no, bar maybe good. eat this instead yeah, it looks like one of them fucking uh rolls of uh cookie dough that you get at the store there's definitely some of those oreo pieces in here Smells good. But here we go. You just smooth it yet? 
smells good. It smells like an ice cream. That's the thing. Sometimes you can just smell that fucking uh, that fake sugar substitute in there. They like, just kind of. Can you smell that one? It's, it's kind of like a little off putting. That like it's that sweetness, but it's kind of like. Yeah, I know this is gonna taste funny, but yeah, it smells like the battery opening on a fucking remote control. Is what you think? I think it smells like. Here we go, man. I'm gonna try to get that piece that's got the most cookies in there, right there. And that's that Here we go. Piece. Look at that. Look at all that cookie. There you go. Touch wieners. Uh, you can definitely taste it's natural. <laughs> it's something natural. I wonder if you dip this in milk would that help like a real Oreo. That's the fucking thing with these things. See, it got that it's that artificial sweetener stuff in here. It's probably made with that stavia stuff in here. It's just something about that. I thing. mean if it's I was hate. like if I was like straight up hungry, I, this would probably be delicious. If you were hungry, if you haven't eaten in two days, this would probably be good, it's like a better than a Snickers. Well, we're full. Of, I'm kind of full right now, so maybe maybe that's why those chill ones didn't taste too And I'm not taking this over any. I definitely can't take this over a damn fucking like a, a fresh cookie or a brownie that's sitting in front of me. They're both sitting in front of me. <laughs> And you told me a fucking brownie had the same amount of calories and proteins, and I'd fucking take the brownie any day. Right? Yeah. Do you think? But do you think this is better than a Three Musketeer? Yo, Three Musketeers are the ones that nobody fucking wants. Three Musketeers. Would you so, take this over a Three Musketeer? What about Mars Bar? You no, know, Mars sucks too. Yeah, fucking Mars Bars and fucking uh, how about them fucking uh, scores and the Heath Bars? No, the like scores those, are good. Those are good. Yeah, it's the one that just don't have shit in it. Like the three musketeers got chocolate and gray shit in it. What the fuck is a nougat? <laughs> what the hell is nougat anyway? She even fucking uh, Nougat just like walked around so I can go for some nougat. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of plant does nougat grow on? Put in the comments below what you think nougat is. Nougat. I think it tastes like yeah, it. You know what? Now you said that. If you do this, it does kind of taste like a fucking. Uh, like if you just got done throwing up or something like that, that little aftertaste that you got in your mouth. Well, this it might be why. Come off like that. Well, this might be why. That best buy thing. Fucking shit. You know, before I cook, I don't want to just be like laying there. They fucking knew the damn thing was stale. Why the fucking they buy it? Fuck. And so, I might have to go back to that Mac store. She did, she was kind of looking for a date, which I could not find any date on this whole damn box. $6.99 for this box of 10. There's no date on this damn thing at all. Um, which, when the lady was like, uh, ringing it up she was looking for a date i couldn't find it she couldn't find it but the damn date is right under that fucking wrapper on that making right there july 20th of 2020 so they're trying about, to kill us out here y'all i don't know if that would have made a big difference so you think july it's like six months old but they're like uh they're not open though I mean, they probably good. Still they, these, like these, shit, but... Like, even when these fucking first were made, they probably had, like, a fucking year life, you know, shelf span anyway, so... Damn, yeah, bro, I'm gonna take the... Did you say you can take it back and find it? This sounds like dirty shit. This is... This is, uh, Max Save over in Duncanville, Texas. How are you guys selling this shit for fucking... You sell this shit for the same price as that Costco, and you sell me fucking the old year shit. This was before COVID. <laughs> yeah, no. Maybe, maybe that's why it tastes better now. Yeah. Hey, the birds ain't even eating that shit. Look, I saw a damn roach it just passed it right up. Hopefully, we can get our vaccinations this week. Damn, we ain't gonna ah. get that. That is a fail. Fail. Now, you... I, would, I would eat those over on fucking Musketeer or. A Mars bar, but nothing else. 
And honestly, if you need protein that bad, you want your steak. Just eat, yeah, you just steak, eat some <laughs> fucking beef jerky or something, but just not that. Eat it. But I don't think that damn. I don't eat think that steak. date that had the issue. The reason why it wasn't that good. I just didn't think the it date? was good in general. Yeah, the, the, it tasted like shit to begin with. It tasted like shit covered in vomit to begin with. It was sweet though. It had a nice. Uh, a beginning that's probably those cookies that's giving it that like nice taste but other than that the rest of it was just kind of yeah. it does taste a little bit like vomit now that i'm thinking about it maybe you go you go that tastes like that fucking burp all right well we got one more fucking snack for you hopefully this that was one, a fail was hopefully a this you? hopefully this one isn't like fucking three years expired but uh, man, they come in these little packages like this, little pouches. Give us something good to And it's uh, 10 cent for these things. These are called uh, Chocs. Is that Chocolate XL? Like Chocolate Love, maybe? And look at it right here. It says uh, or XO, XL. It's got fucking chocolate coming out of the bottom of it right here. <laughs> but it, this, is, this, is, this is current. 7721, y'all. So This sure the hell is chocolate on mine, too. So as far as I'm concerned, these are freaking uh, still fresh. Although it has a little bit of a, I don't know if that's like chocolate. A shit stain on Maybe a shit smear on the outside from that. From that. Whoever is packaging, maybe he scratches his ass and put them back together again. I don't know. Give these motherfuckers a dirty Sanchez, I think. But yeah. Here we go, man. But it's a, everything that I like about, you know, a nice piece of candy. Dark chocolate. We got coconut, almonds, a little bit of sea salt. So. Well, like, check this out. I, I just opened mine. I just opened this. Is I just that, opened the package. These weren't sitting in the sun or nothing it. like that. I didn't mess with it. Look at it. It's already broken off already. That's uh, what that it. thing looks like. And it's not in there yet. It's not in here. So somebody broke this shit up and ate it and put it back in here. So uh, I'm going down. This shit's melting my fingers. Here we go. Down with the shit. It's not looking that bad. Oh, man. Dark chocolate looks good for you. Dark chocolate has like that intense bitter taste to it. You know what that one? <laughs> That's like a match supposed to be six nine. <laughs> this one out of the oh, he might not like it, but I gotta like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate again has that nice bitter, almost like sharp. Um, got that coconut in there. Uh, luckily, got, Man. luckily, I got napkins in here just for this, this occasion here. This is some sharp ass dark chocolate, yeah. though, you guys. This is like, this is really potent. Again, this is that it's like I'm eating chocolate right XO, I think. Chocolate love snap, keto snap. It's like I'm eating the fucking chocolate right off the damn tree. With no sweeteners in it. Exactly, see? Woo! Barely nothing in this damn thing. Look at that. Woo! That thing was nothing. That thing was... Wasn't that thing bitter as fuck, though? Man, that's good, bro. Like, once you start, like, fucking, like... I can get sweet, to that bro. fucking point, though. You, that that, that the coconut helps in this one. Was that the best one of all? Oh, yeah. I, I could eat a few of those. I think anything else on there, I can eat nothing. You probably like them fucking keto chips. I think the one I like the best would have, I would have to be that chocolate bar. That's about it right there. <laughs> the Keto's was like eating a damn leaf off the ground. This thing was like eating a, a shingle off the roof of my house. And the cotton candy bar is eating the bottom of my shoe. But that one tasted the best. Man, it kind of sucks when that. Eh? It kind of sucks right. when that's the best part of the uh, the dessert. Right the fucking eating the shoes, mm -hmm. eating the shoes was the best taste. So we had vomit mm -hmm. and canned spinach in a chip form, and the uh, bottom of a you shoe the was the best one. And this goddamn guy taking fucking phone calls and shit while I'm fucking mid video. That queer mm -hmm. motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Check over. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Okay. Those are three snacks that were supposedly going to help us Sorry. drastically make healthy eating decisions. And uh, neither one of those kind of uh, 
helped out at all. So I think it'd be back to the fucking cheeseburgers in about another hour or so. My body would definitely benefit from having a freaking nice, beautiful glazed donut than having one of those things again. Exactly. I mean, mm -hmm. shit, if we... Hey, if we got a shot tomorrow, I'd be cool with that knowing that I, I ate a fucking uh, jelly donut before I ate that shit. Mm -hmm. I'd cut my own foot off if I had, in order to not have to eat one of those again. There you guys go. We eat healthy so you guys don't have to. Yeah. But, man, we're going to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed some of that humor. Hope you guys come back. So hit the likes, comment, and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out.